Hey everyone, it's Apex. So we're gonna be covering the best comps and specs to play with for all of Wrath in twos and threes. So essentially, which this is a nice thing, for all of Wrath, first season all the way to the end, they have pretty much two to three amazing partners in twos. They're strong the whole time as well as threes and the partners overlap, which is great because that way you can actually play with your friends, coordinate where you're gonna play in Wrath, and then build up that synergy throughout. So, first off, we have Enhance and Preg slash Ret. You're going to mostly play Preg, unless you can't get your hands on a healer weapon. And yes, you do use a healer weapon. Anyone who's never heard this, basically, Preg Paladin uses a really fast, low DPS healer weapon with a lot of spell power, and it does actually do a lot of damage. You're probably thinking, what? Why do you use a healer weapon? You attack really fast, and you have Reckoning, which gives you double procs. And then, the faster you attack, the more crits you get, the more crits you get, the more flash of light procs you get. And that's also why you can play without Crusader Strike and Divine Storm, because using so many of your globals pretty much on cleanse and flash of light. So this comp's amazing. And the way it plays the whole time is it plays this sort of attrition style where you line up your CC every minute, pause, repent, and instant cast hex. Every single minute you can do that. And once you're able to get, let's say, against Holy Pally teams, you get the trinket and their bubbles blown, and you can just line that up and you just win by autoing them essentially because the enhanced and the ret or preg do massive auto damage which is kind of hilarious because you're just you're just healing and dispelling and purging both of you and you're just whacking them and they die really this comp only struggles when the pressure is too high so that's where maybe you're against some sort of rogue team or something that's disarming you i've actually lost to ret mm hunter which does crazy burst as well as having mortal strike but anyone that can just kill you really fast while you can't recover or get things going so that could be like a rogue team that is dismantling you however this comp actually has an amazing matchup versus shadow priest rogue which is one of the best comps in the game for all of wrath that's huge so enhance can really struggle with dying to a sub rogue but this comp actually kind of counters it it's a pretty solid matchup for them and then what is the second really strong comp well it is marksman hunter and ret Paladin also can be played as Preg. However, this comp, I would highly recommend you do Ret over Preg as their synergy makes far more sense when you're both bursting really hard with Mortal Strike. Ret does have higher bursts and it's controlled unlike Preg. So that works really well. And the place of this one's way different. You're killing something very quickly with CC coordination. The Hunter's really got a mind when he's getting his traps off that he's avoiding the hand of sacrifice the sacks the hunt or the priest who will shadow or death his scatters and traps so that's very important it's a high skill comp i'd say it's definitely harder to play than the enhanced frag however it's very good good for all of wrath top tier for sure and it is pretty fun to play so these two comps are definitely the top two for all of wrath and i would highly recommend you play these and then in the second highest tier which these comps are still very good and actually one of them in particular well both of them actually do really strong at the beginning so really they kind of have like four top tier comps at the beginning and then two through all around so that's amazing so what are these comps well one is your ret slash preg with an unholy dk you can really play either or you'll do a little better versus casters with ret and you'll do a little better versus melee as preg as almost always well not always but a huge chunk of the time, the Ret or Preg will actually be the kill target because you have huge off healing, which you can throw all over to the DK as well, sack his damage back to you. And then he has his own healing or she. You will need to be a little more resilient. And that's one of the reasons some people are actually playing this comp as Preg. But in general, the damage is extremely high as well as the burst. So very scary comp, no mortal strike though. So sometimes they can fail to kill a healer and that will typically be Holy Pally Warrior because they're just insane and sorry to kill. And then the next comp, Sub Rogue and a Ret or Preg. I do think this one can kind of play either spec. But once again, I feel like it's sort of like the Marksman Hunter comp. It plays like the Marksman Hunter. Sub Rogue's adding CC and then they're kind of controlling one target and doing massive damage to them trying to KO with the Mortal Strike. So you can play Ret or Preg, but this one's very explosive. The Rogue can die instantly and you can also kill people instantly. So very fun comp, very strong. At the beginning in particular, it does fall off a little bit throughout of all of Wrath, but nonetheless, it's still good and fun and 
Uh, you can even get glad with it in the final season because I actually know a rogue who got it. So that's great. And then I'll go over a bunch very quickly as these comps are all viable and some are decent, but they don't compare as much to the top four that I just talked about. So you'll have one with disc and ret or preg. This one has double defensive dispel and you can basically never get CC'd, which is really annoying for the other team. And a lot of the games will go super long, but you will lose to things like a disc warrior or a warrior H pal, or even sometimes DKs because DKs just really chop up freeze. But this is a very, very defensive comp and they kind of beat most double deeps unless the double deeps teams have a lot of healing. So for instance, like a Prague Enhanced has a ton of healing and without the Rhett having MS, that's actually one of its harder matchups, which I of course talk about at the beginning of this video. So there's that. Then you have Resto Shaman paired with either a Prot Pally, Rhett or a Prague. All three work. I think the Prot synergizes a little better as Prot Paladins have massive damage, higher than the Rhett and Prague in my opinion, although the burst isn't quite as high. And they have a lot more AOE damage, which can come into play. And then we have Rhett with a Shadow or Prague with a Shadow. This one's fun. It's not amazing. It falls in the same line of being very defensive, like the Disc Rhett or the Disc Prague. And essentially, you just play where you're trying to get some sort of instant CC going with the Hodge Repent Silence. And then you get some kill with the Burst. And then also you have the Mini MS from the Shadow Priest, which is nice. But it struggles with where the Shadow Priest is just getting trained. Because if you run into any comp like DK Rhett Pally or... Rhett, Pally, Marksman, Hunter, they're just going to go on your Priest really hard and it's going to be very tough for them. Even Enhanced Rhett or Enhanced Break like I was just talking about. So there's that to watch out for. And then there's some other comps like Frost Mage Rhett. I would play that one as Rhett. And that one plays a very heavy reset style where the Rhett's just running around with a one-handed shield on a lot and he is essentially just keeping both of you alive and dispelling a lot while the Mage eventually gets a CC chain and then you just burst everything down when you got that rolling. And they have Ellie Prague, which I don't think is amazing, but it kind of works in the first season as Prague, it seems. And that one's decent. Also one of the best melee with the best caster in the game. And then these ones are not as strong, but they're still viable. And that is your Prop Paladin with a Disc, your Boomkin with a Rhett or Prague, and an Arms Warrior with a Prague or Rhett, and then a Pharaoh with a Rhett or Prague. These all are okay. They have some really hard matchups. A lot of them are just Holy Pally Warrior teams or even like Holy Pally DK teams. And then in the meh category, we have Rhett or Prague with a Destro Lock or Rhett or Prague with an Affliction. It, it's just not very good synergy. In general, even though in this twos list, there are some caster pairings, Rhett and Prague, even Prop Valley, just do not pair well with casters almost at all. They just don't have the synergy, but they have a lot with melee. So that is it for the twos, and now we'll go to threes. All right, and then for threes, there are not as many options that are strong for Rhett and Prague that's just how it is. However, there are still some and they are top tier. So we'll go over them. The number one is PHP. A lot of people call this cubic cleave when it's not. It's actually PHP, which is Pally, Hunter, Priest, and it's Disc, Marksman, and then Rhett or Prague. And this comp's amazing. It's good for all of Wrath, top tier for all of Wrath. And it just has amazing synergy where the Hunter, the Priest, and the Paladin all have instant CC. They're able to do it all the time, really every half a minute and then the pally gets his amazing one every minute although he can't expect for hodge to be 20 seconds shorter at just 40 seconds regardless the priest and the hunters cc all is under 30 seconds everything they have and then they can be so offensive and the pally can make up a bit of the slack with the spells sacks bops bubble all his utility first has the ability to allow the priest to be far more offensive, whether that be doing lots of damage, dispels, or number three, mind control. You actually can cast mind control and all of a sudden one person CC, the other one's mind control, the other one's dying in a hodge. That's insane. And that's one of the reasons why this is the best comp, in my opinion, for all of Wrath for your Rhett or Prague Paladins. Now, number two, and this kind of varies, but most people are gonna play the priest version because it's just so amazing. And it's a little easier, I think, too, because they just synergize so well. But the other one is called Cube the Cleave, and this is with any healer but a Disc Priest. So you can do a Holy Pally. Yes, you can play two Paladins. Holy Pallies are amazing. So are Rhett and Prague. And you also get Sacred Cleansing that way. And another Hodge, so you can just be Hodging two people at once. This one has far less CC, but the Pally has a lot more survival himself. 
herself as well as just being amazing and sacred cleansing is extremely powerful offensively and defensively because it'll prevent cc from going on you so then you can also do more things you can't play the druid variant or the rest of shaman but then you don't have the double to spell i don't think they're anywhere near as good but if you had to pick one the rest of shaman version is certainly not bad as the purge lust and most importantly the five second or six second kick wind shear is crazy powerful as the paladin doesn't have any interrupt which is really it's besides not having mortal strike that's its only real weakness those are pretty much the top tier for all of wrath then you also have vanguard's cleave which is going to be your ret or prague with the unholy and then a disc priest you can play this with other healers as well just like the cubic cleave but once again priests are just the best pairing with paladins and this comp doesn't have mortal strike which is this one weakness but has crazy damage which is also good throughput it can just be doing that damage for a while it's not like okay pop cooldowns and your damage is gone like it kind of is with the sub rogue or some other things they just do massive damage the entire time and things will die and then you have the double dispel which is just a consistent theme that is the best thing that the ret and prague bring it's just that double defensive dispel it allows your healer to be real offensive hence why they pair best with this priest and that just leads to strong comps and then for number four this will be your enhance ret such prague and the disc priest this one is newer because of course enhanced and ret and prey pregnant demon exists so this comp is far newer in a sense than the other comps i just went over and this one plays similar to the twos however you're able to be far more offensive because you're playing with the healer of course the disc priest when you're playing the twos variant of the enhanced with the ret or prey you're constantly having to heal each other and dispel each other and stay alive because you have that sort of attrition style versus in threes you have the disc priest supporting you and you also have to support the disc priest a lot of the times you're actually a lot more offensive and you can really kill things actually a lot faster because of that you're still using almost all of your heals and whatnot so as the enhanced you're not going to just all of a sudden cast lightning bolts and stuff but you will still be doing your hex and then your greater healing waves or healing wave and then your paladin will still be spamming splash of lights and just pumping damage the whole time but maybe he'll always use exorcism when they have a proc and it's off cooldown versus other times they're still healing a lot of the time. So it's lacking MS. Other than that, it has pretty much everything. You have the extreme pressure that the enhanced brings with the offensive dispel plus the disc priest. So you, every globe you can get four offensive dispels plus you have lust, which can make the priest do a lot of damage. It was mind control shenanigans. And then of course you can CC a ton with your fear, hex, hodge, repent, and win the game so this comp is very strong it's definitely in the second tier i think i don't think it's quite top tier but it's good and it's pretty fun i think okay and then we have scooby-doo cleave this comp's better at the beginning than throughout all of wrath but it's still very strong it can kill people very quickly it's basically like the enhanced version i just talked about except way more offensive the rogue can die way quicker and it's more cooldown reliant than the enhance but they're very explosive. They're very dependent on getting a decent start, which is, of course, your sap and the rogue getting an opener. So that's going to swing games a bit if the rogue gets out of stealth for whatever reason. But very good comp. You can definitely win a lot with this. And I think it's very fun. And then for the last one I'll be talking about, and there are some other viable ones, but these are really the main ones, I think. And as you can see, they're pairing with melee for all of this. And of course, a hunter, which I kind of call a melee. And the last one is going to be with an Arms Warrior. So Disc Priest, Ret Prague, Arms Warrior. This one has a lot of pressure. They just don't synergize as well, it feels like. You're always having to freedom the Warrior, dispel him constantly, or her, and yourself, while dispelling the Priest. So you're just, you need, you're dispelling so much. And that can cause some issues where you're not able to do much of your damage. And then you're both losing some uptime because you just don't have as much. The Ret has to close the gap, as does the Warrior. Versus when the Ret's playing with a DK, the DK can close the gap for both of them with the Death Grip ability, which is amazing. And on top of that, you can Death Grip Fears with your healer. So that's another reason why that comp just synergizes so well. Synergy is very important, and that's one of the main things you're seeing throughout this list. And really, this comp has MS. It has double defensive dispel. It has a lot of decent instant CC. Worry doesn't bring much, but he does bring the kick in terms of CC, just his fear, which DRs with the Priest. And you still use it as an interrupt. And then Mortal Strike plus their pressure still is very good. And this comp's, I mean, it's almost like it's in bottom of good, but 
I would just put it in viable as it just doesn't quite feel amazing. And even if everyone's really geared, it still doesn't feel amazing to me at least. So yeah, that is pretty much my list of twos and threes for what you should be playing in Wrath. So let me know what you think in the comment section below and what you'll be playing as well. And I will see you in Wrath.